This is great! <laughs> Lovely stretching. <laughs> oh, what is? Wow! What a nice pool! Uh, yes! Isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about a swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is... Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? Hi, <sighs> are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. The ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! Me old pool go stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha. Uh, uh. The heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lads. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Den. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Den? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water round here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... <laughs> Whoa! 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 saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping gators, a piranha, abandoned ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now all we've got to do is siphon off his water. Back to the drawing board. Oof. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well. At least it 
it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. Emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, pie face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Which way, Dennis? Um, uh, uh this one. Must have gone that way, unless oh Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like.
stunt! A leap across Devil's Gulch! Kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> this is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. <laughs> Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats? These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. These lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's khaki, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? <sighs> Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly, pie face, see anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry, nice, eh? Hmm. But this one, oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him, same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out... He's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? Yes. And a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? Yes. 
You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how it happens. <laughs> That's agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> oh, uh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good. Because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll uh, hop after him. Fluff, I mean, Nasha, here, boy. Oh, look at my glasses. Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh there's no need. <laughs> They went behind the shed. Good. There's no escape. Leave it to me. Oh. Yeah. Look like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No. Sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh. <laughs> Give them to me. Silly <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jane. Look! Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite. Seaweed and spinach. <laughs> Look, Dad! He's heading for that tree! <laughs> This is a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit! Bad boy! <laughs> Pierre! I didn't mean it! Come back! <laughs> Fluff! Jump! Dennis and Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing, really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian wirehead tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Uh huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Oh, good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him! He's traumatised! Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes you. <laughs> we borrowed the extra loud speakers, Jen. Can we set up in the 
treehouse. Not yet, Pyface. Mum and Dad are still here. And remember how they moaned last time we played? We could try playing a bit softer. It wouldn't be much of a video for the din makers then, would it? Anyway, Athena wants it loud. Now she thinks she's a music video director. But she did say she'd show it to her dad, Dan. Yeah. If she thinks it's cool, she's going to play it to Rat Bucket. And if he thinks it's cool, whoa! So, we better be nice to her. Now, I've just got to get rid of Mum and Dad. What? You said you were going off to a meeting. You said you were going to be gone all day. We are. It's a special meeting of the Neighbourhood Watch next door. For young people. The Mayor's coming. The Colonel says you must be there. He wants you to help him with his talk. It'll be a nice way to make up for the trouble you caused him. It wasn't my fault his window was broken. I insist you go. It's the only way he's going to forgive us. Now go and get changed, or I'll be confiscating that guitar of yours. What? <laughs> guitar? Not today! <laughs> Nasha, you're going to have to warn Curly and Pieface <gasps> that we've been caught for this meeting, that it's next door. That we'll escape as soon as we can. That. <laughs> okay, I'll write a note. Just grab a trouser leg in your teeth and hold them till they've read it. <laughs> to be a fine young man years later. And we can only hope that that is the case here. <laughs> Did you give him the note? Was Athena there? Some of you may have heard of the Mayor's new campaign. Young Street Heroes, it's called. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll do this if you don't mind. Yes, it's an award for youngsters who contribute most to their neighbourhood. Like our very own Walter, for example. Athena will be there by now. We have to go! And now, how youngsters can help protect our neighbourhood. Lights, please, Walter. Head for the toilet, OK? <laughs> How to recognise a bad type. First, notice the eyes. Where's Athena? Oh, yeah. She texted to say she's going to be late. Oh, no! I'll have to get back then. Mum will go mad if she finds I'm not there. And Athena will go mad if she finds you're not here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Thanks, Pie Face. Just let me know the moment she arrives. Right. I'll do one of me bird calls. Easy to slip back in the dark. Ah, that's right. Up you come. As I was saying, I've specially invited two well-known local hooligans to join us. Justin, one, two, three... And so, thanks to forward planning, the hooligans are disarmed. They're gonna start playing! If anyone hears them, we're done for! Talking earlier about noise pollution, Colonel. Uh, can we give you a demonstration? My face! I think I see Athena! I can't hear you! Yes, yes, that's enough. Thank you. That's very good. All right. Quiet. Quiet! It's wonderful to be able to call on genuine troublemakers from the locale. In order to illustrate the steps we are taking that means Athena must be there. We can't keep her waiting or she'll throw a wobbler. What are you doing, Dennis? Uh, you know, I needed the toilet before. Uh, well, I'll do again. <laughs> and so does Nasha. OK, Nasha, you wait here. If I'm needed, bark loudly. <laughs> uh, hi, Athena.
Tina, uh, what's happening? You owe me one, Dennis. I'm missing my nail therapist because of these idiots. We're fixing it. It's just a small explosion type thing. Can't they speed it up a bit? <laughs> no! What? Not you. Uh, no, yes, they can. And I'm going to help too. I think I saw a loose wire uh, under the stage. I'll be back in a minute. I'm warning you. Five minutes, then I'm taking my talent elsewhere. Give us a signal the moment you're ready. I'll do me owl. Oh, wait. What happens if a real owl flies past? It won't sound like yours. Yes, up here. Up here, this way. Now, let's see what happens when a young hooligan tries to pick the lock on Walter's special lunchbox. I don't pick locks. I've never picked a lock in my life. Go on, try then. <laughs> 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 Now. <laughs> As you can see, that's one padlock that won't be picked. <sighs> that's my face. We got to go. Dennis, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Mum, uh, but uh... oh, you're very hot for someone who's just been sitting still. Perhaps you should go home. Home? Yes. Uh, great idea. I'll come with you. Actually. It might be better to stay here, in the quiet. You go back to your seat. Oh, if you're sure. But I don't want to see you stirring from here. No! No! We've got to go! Athena will be going mad! His Worship, the Mayor! No! Oh, how do we get past that lot? <laughs> you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Uh, yes, and uh, the elasticity is uh, really quite surprising, Your Worship. <laughs> it's OK, Poochie. It's only Nasha. <laughs> I don't think so, Dennis. It's so last millennium. It's OK. I'm going to change. Start the intro, guys. and they lower the tone of the neighbourhood. Dennis, I am going to make an example of you. Yes, you, because you're not like the others. I heard the gentle music you were playing. I saw you rescue that poor pup from the tree. And I heard from your mother that you've not been feeling at all well, too. Come forward, young man. You and your faithful hound are young street heroes! Yeah! Young street heroes? <laughs> Not a bad name for a band. <laughs> A 
chuck away the detention book, Dennis. Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs Creature. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. Ah! <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs Creature? Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Eh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So, maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master programme for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft. Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school was fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yeah! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> so, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's... Uh, drum and bass studies. Oh! <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh, come on, Walter! Don't be a square! <laughs> What's next, Mrs Creature? Uh, go-kart racing! <laughs> Remember ordering all these cars? Oh, hello. That new computer system. Are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's, uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs Creature. You're missing all the fun. Mrs Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. Away. No, it's up to us to save the school. In fact, this is our chance to make it the school we've always dreamed of. This is amazing, Dennis. I never thought I'd wake up looking forward to school. Eh? Next. Thank you, Walter. Next. <laughs> Can't wait for Dennis's turn. Why can't Nasha come in? Oh, they've changed the rules again. So send him home and get changed out of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. All right, settle down, please. So, today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand-picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh. <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right. I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites, Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Walter, hand it over. Catch, Bertie! Side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Oh, yeah, we've 
waited for them to do the park up. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! On me, Ed, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with parky bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies Bee picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy a game, Dennis? Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops! Fire cannons! Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park! Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Are those park daisies, madam? Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now clear off, or I'll have the law on the lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <sighs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? <laughs> dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a park! <gasps> oh my! <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond monster! <gasps> <gasps> Ten boys! <laughs> this can't happen! Not on the first day! No. Oh, hey, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> That's fixed him! Full speed ahead! <laughs> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kick-off. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on, there's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
Porter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Oh, of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go! How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words. This is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parking. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation then, eh? A what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here yeah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why has mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Uh, let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxers. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on, over there. There's something in the bushes. This tin can doesn't even have flippers. <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes, exactly like that. <laughs> ah! A There are real live monsters here. Stay away from Beano Town Park. Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> Oh, that mangy cur scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find Pie Face. <laughs> Must be around here somewhere.
wrong way. <sighs> Any luck? Not yet. But you know Pie Face. He thinks the Beano Town Pie Festival is like a whole month of birthdays rolled into one. And if we don't find him soon, we'll have a repeat of last year's disaster. Wait! There he is! <sighs> the Pie Festival. People selling pies, buying pies, eating pies. I don't think so. Remember what happened last year? I can't hold him, Dennis. We have to, Curly. Cos if we don't... Oh, no. No pie face! No pie face! Don't do it! Oh, he's doing it. Remember now, Pie Face? Oh, yeah. And remember what our dad said? If it happened again, we'd be grounded till we were 90. <gasps> It'd be worth it for one more taste of that winning pie. No, it wouldn't be worth it. I don't want to be grounded and stuck at home. Me neither. Look, Pie Face, there are plenty of things to do better than eating pies. There are? Yeah, loads of things. Come on, let's go and have some fun. Take your mind off it. Here, over here. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> together, but he's still thinking about pies. I know. I think it's time for plan B. Aversion therapy. Aversion? What? You'll see. Explain it to me again, Dad. Why are we giving him pie? We're not curly. See, if he takes it, his teddy bear gets it. <gasps> no pie face! Don't do it! <laughs>
Sorry, Walter. Nearly crashed into your stall. Good job you didn't. I reckon I'm on course to win again this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, looks like we beat him here. How do you know? Cos no one's screaming, get off me pies! So, what now? Dunno, but I'll think of something. Ladies and gentlemen, soon it'll be time to pick the winner of the grand title Best Pie in Festival, which should be... Uh, soon. Uh, when our chief judge arrives, that is. <laughs> You've got a plan, haven't you? Oh, yes. Then, Curly, because here comes Pipers! Okay, I'm on my way! No, Pipers! No! <gasps> Pies! Right, that's it! Just wait till I tell your dads! You'll be grounded forever! Nasha, quick! Plan C! Walter out of the way. Now, I've just got to keep Pie Face occupied for a while. <sighs> oh no, you don't! <laughs> Let me go! No! <laughs> all those pies! Ow. Don't worry, you'll get all the pies you want in a minute. <laughs> Yes, just a few minutes, I promise. Are you sure? Trust me, have I ever let you down? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a slight delay. Our uh, chief judge still hasn't turned up. I wonder what could have happened to her. Ooh, I don't get it. I'm sure that curly-haired kid said the pie festival was here. Mr. Mayor, how about a standing judge? Uh, well, I don't know. Remember what happened last year? Oh, oh yes, yes, I remember. Yes, but you have to admit, no one knows more about pies than Pie Face. Yeah, well, that's right. Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face. Pie face. Pie Oh, very well. Come on up then, lad. Yay! Yay! Oh, what do I have to do? Well, you just have to taste all these pies and tell us which one's best. <gasps> now, when you say taste. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do we have a winner? Uh. No, I, I just can't choose. They were all so good that they're all winners. You saved the day. And as a reward, here are some special presentation pies. <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> <laughs> will be dogs. And you two did save the pie festival. I, I think we'll overlook it on this occasion. You know what? I don't really fancy any more pie for now. Uh.